Hi YouTube, so I was requested by someone to do a video on cystic fibrosis related diabetes. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna show y'all my shot, um, my meter, my you know, just like my equipment, and I'm gonna explain to y'all a little bit about what it is. So I'm sorry, I'm very itchy today. So the clinical like definition of CF related diabetes is this is on cff.org if y'all ever like are more interested in it and I'm not giving y'all like a good description of what it is just like go to the website and there's a lot it's cff.org I'll put the link in the description box. It says cystic fibrosis related diabetes or CFRD is a unique type of diabetes. It is not the same di as diabetes in people without CF. The diagnosis and treatment are not exactly the same. CFRD is extremely common in people with CF, especially as they get older. CFRD is found in 35% of adults aged 20 to 29 and 43% of those over 30. I guess I'm apparently, sounds like I'm very low percentage to have it, but I do. So pretty much the treatment, at least for me, I know some people with CF get like the um, insulin pumps or like if there's this really like they can't control it. Mine is just I take seven units of my sh insulin shot at night and I do my blood sugar twice a day or like if I'm feeling bad. Um, I do it in the mornings and I do it before I do my um like before I go to sleep um and I take the blood sugar before I do my insulin and then I go to sleep so anyways my personally I don't know if this is really like everyone with CFRD my blood sugar pretty much runs it's supposed to run between 70 and 150 if it goes below 70 for like consecutive nights or if I'm like if I check my blood sugar like randomly because I feel weird um, I'll like eat something sweet or sugary, just something to like get my sugar up. And then, um, oh, if it gets over 150, then I mean, I try to like tone it down, like maybe drink some water or something, like eat some real food. Um, I don't even remember them giving me directions on what to do when it's high. But if it's consecutively high or consecutively low, I'm supposed to call my doctor and they're supposed to like fix me up and give me some like up my dose of insulin. Typically, I know a lot of people with like type 1 and type 2 diabetes have to count like their carbs or um, things like that. People with CFRD don't have to do that. The only thing I personally, like, I'm saying this I personally because I'm not going to speak for everyone. Everyone's different. Mine, I have to stay away from concentrated sugars. Like, no, like, regular syrup. Like, they told me not to do it at all. Like, they said if I eat cake, like, I can't, like, I can't just eat straight icing. I have to eat the cake with it, which I understand. Like, I do that anyway. But, um... Like, I can't splurge, like, every day and have, like, a buku sugar. Like, I can have, like, a Sprite, like, every couple of days or, like, you know, have, like, a cupcake or cake or, you know, something sugary, but I can't have it all the time. And, like, that's cool. Like, I'm fine with that. Like, it doesn't really affect me. I was never really into too many sweets. Regular diabetes is typically... Um, caused by like insulin resistance or too much insulin or things like that. People with CF, their pancreas is clogged up with mucus. So we can't like put out the insulin that we need. So we need, some of us need, you know, that extra like shot of insulin to help us out. For CFers, it's good to get like that fatty food in. Just don't like you know, they don't want us eating straight, like, syrup out of a bowl, which, fun fact, I used to do that a long time ago when we didn't have any waffles in the house, 
and that was like you know that lasted for a few months and I quit because like it I knew it was bad for me so I stopped it's okay like this is what one of my pins looks like oh I feel like such a beauty guru right now okay this is what my insulin shot is it's love and mirror flex pin oh love and mirror flex touch sorry um it looks like this when you open the top and it's just like all this clear is the insulin um I switch these out every month and that's how that's what does the thing that's what you know puts the insulin in my body these are the needles that I get they're little BD green needles and they're so tiny like maybe this long like I don't know if you could tell but it's a very little amount and um I'm not gonna open one right now but uh one needle per use like throw them away after put them in the shards container then we have my little AccuCheck and it's so cute this is the one my doctor gave me it's got like a little peacock feather on it so cute um I have a new one now um, because of, you know, insurance stuff, they went and covered the lancets, which I'm still using the little clicky part, like the little needle part, it's in my other stuff, and I don't want to get that out, like this one comes with a little diary, and you can write all your stuff in it, but I just use iOS 8, because, yeah, iOS 8, the health app, like that, that's my lifesaver, like, CFers, like, if you have an iPhone, like, download it. You can put your PFT numbers. It's really convenient. Um, anyways, typically, when I do my shot, I take an alcohol wipe. I have so many of these, but I'm sure you can buy them at, like, a pharmacy or something. Take an alcohol wipe. I undo this. Put the needle, like obviously take this off, this screws on the top, and I push out, let me put this back on, I push, like I do it to two, push out two units, and then go to seven, which is right there, put, I, you know, take like a chunk of my skin, I do it in the stomach, but it's really wherever you have like the most fat. Like, some people do it in their thighs. I used to do it in my thigh, but it, like, there's so many nerves, it hurts every time I do it. Um, some people do it in, like, the fatty part of their arm. Um, some, some people do it, like, on their, like, back thigh, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so it really depends on you. I do mine in my stomach, because that's, like, the most beefy part of me. Um... So yeah, it's really easy. When we do it, we hold down for 10 seconds and then we just release like the little clicker and pull it out straight. Um, so that's pretty much it. If y'all want to know something else about anything, just comment below, leave me a video request, whatever y'all want to do. Um, have a remarkable week and I will upload when I upload. So, bye!